And isn't it weird? Instincts are good. We should trust them. I'll tell you something, Betty. Reveal a secret. Maybe he had privileged information that David was the auteur. David suspected Brett was going to rat him out. Could be what ended up getting him killed. The right connections, the right amount of money. You could easily put a hit on someone in jail with a single phone call. My agents in the field are looking for David right now. In the moment that he slips up, and they always do eventually, we'll bring him in. Thanks for meeting me. Forensics is on the way. It looks like you're right, Jughead. David was tying up loose ends. First Brett, then himself. Maybe he decided suicide was his only escape. What's going on, Mark? Got your message. Thanks for coming, Charles. Same kind you gave me to use on the Stonies. You got sloppy. Or maybe I wanted to be caught. Just waiting for you to catch up to me. Yes, but only to protect you, Betty. I did. Yes. She slipped away. And her friends committed a heinous crime and got away with it. I, it didn't sit well with me. Right. It was odious. Yes, he was. Did it. I love you, babe. I love you too. Your love knows no boundaries. Correct? How'd you guess? You're so good at identifying us. But I was your blind spot. And I only kill people who deserve it. Horrible people who hurt those that I love. Betty, I'm putting myself in your hands. You're going to prison for the rest of your life. Coming with us. No, no, I'm not the auteur. Look like a suicide and <laughs> well, yes, I I killed David. But he was a degenerate who helped scumbags like Brett. But I'm not behind the videotapes. Then who is? <sighs> Kinda teach you what I'd be if I just gave you the answer, baby brother. You'll figure it out. I have no doubt.